Yo, 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 yo. All right, bet. Denny Avedita. Avia Avedita. Avedita. God damn it. Denny. What's up, everybody? Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another great episode of Bros Talking Sports. We are back. We are live. Please subscribe. This is NBA Draft. Can you believe it? It is here. I can't. I cannot. Uh, can't be mad. I cannot be mad. Let's go through it right now. We're gonna go over uh, the first round, basically. All right. I'm gonna make this quick, and I'm gonna stop at the ones that matter, aka my Blazers. All right. Let's get to it. Um, Bros talking sports. Like, subscribe, and share. NBA draft is here. Did Brian get drafted number one? So many picks was in for it. All right. Did it happen? Unfortunately not. As we know, the Atlanta Hawks had the number one pick, and everybody knew that they was going to take the kid from France. I don't want to mess his name up. Zachary. Let's just. Rizzacher. Rizzacher. I don't even know, man. He's from France. He's cold. He's seven foot two, seven foot seven wingspan. He's a beast. Number one pick in the draft. Can't be mad. Atlanta Hawks. They need somebody. Um, they need somebody. All right. So yeah, number one pick. Number two, Wizards. They drafted Alex Sar out of another, uh, I think, France player. Cold. All right. Rockets. Number three pick. They drafted Reed Shepard. Can't be mad at that out of Kentucky. Rockets, though, they said they'll trade the house if they could get KD. They're trying to uh, rebuild, and they let it be known. So we'll see what happens in the future. Number four pick, the Spurs. They went ahead and drafted Stefan Castle from Connecticut. UConn, the champ. Great pick. Spurs always know how to draft great picks. Pair along with Wimby. Wimby, let's go. Let's see what you got. Detroit Pistons drafted number six. They took Ron Holland the second out of the G League. I I think that's actually a good pick for them. Detroit needs it. Um, and yeah, they're in a rebuild year as well. New coach, all that. So, man, good pick for them. All right, uh, Hornets though. Hornets never draft a good player, but this guy right here. I don't want to belligerent your name, man. This whole draft actually is going to be a name belligerent thing because you know how I am with names. But uh, what is Tajan, Saloon, man, don't kill me, bro. Number six pick, going to the Hornets. Much respect, beast. Uh, man, you're a lottery pick. That's what's up. But let's get to it, the number seven pick, because we know my Portland Trailblazers had that pick. We also had the 14th pick, but we traded the 14th pick away um, to Washington. We also traded a future first-round pick and two future second-round picks as well. For this kid named Denny Alavita. Man, I pray I said your name right, but I definitely don't think I did. But welcome to Portland, Rip City. We welcome you with open arms. Shout you out. Let's just uh last year for Washington. All right. For uh you average 15 points, 50% from the field, 37 points from three, seven rebounds. Much respect. Okay. In the four years you've been in the league, career average 10 points, 45% from the field, 32-3. 32% from three, six rebounds, two assists. All right, man, let's see what you got. This is big for the Blazers. I'm actually really excited for that. And uh, sad thing, though, we did trade Malcolm Brogdon. He was actually a good player we got um, on our team. You know, Rip City, we love to lose our players. But listen, man, this uh, Denny out of here, hopefully will be a good pick for us. We traded for the 14th pick. But back to the number seven pick. My Portland Trailblazers. Okay, you guys. We went ahead and picked Donovan Kling uh Kling Kligan. Donovan Klingan. Damn, me and these names. Out of Yukon, another back-to-back -back champion, seven footer that we got center. Seven foot two to be exact. And uh yeah, man. Let's just talk about this guy real quick because Portland, I'm excited. Uh, why couldn't this be Portland, Portland's last Portland Trailblazers pick last year? We got school. Yes, must respect the school. But if we got this pick last year, 
Donovan? Would Dame still be a Blazer? Who knows, man? Who knows? But anyway, man, uh, Donovan Klingon is a native of Bristol, Connecticut. He averaged 30 points, 18 boards, six blocks as a senior, two-time Gatorade Player of the Year, committed to UConn in 2021, also received offers from Michigan, Ohio State, Syracuse, and other major schools. A top 50 player in 2022 high school class. Kligan was immediately an impact player as a freshman at UConn during the 2022 season. His interior scoring, rebounding, and high-volume shot blocking helped propel the Huskies to the 2023 National Championship. Kligan opted to return for a sophomore season. As we know what happened there, he won the championship. He did take a lesser role because UConn had some stars, they say, on their team. I don't know. but um, So he only... Yeah, he only posted 13 points, seven rebounds, and five assists last year with the, with the dub. With the dub, the championship, so you can't really be mad. But we will see exactly what he do for our Blazers. I'm so excited, though. You got someone to pair with DeAndre Aiden, a former number one pick. DeAndre, are you going to step up even more? All right, a lot of folks out there saying they, you know, they respect your swag last year. I didn't. You're a number one pick. You should be doing better numbers than that, all right? Yeah, man, you got all these millions in the bank, man. Much respect. Salute. But I need better numbers. So, Donovan, make him step up big time. Blazers, let's do it. Scoot, I'm on you too, man. I need numbers from you this year. I need numbers. Number three pick. What you got, man? We got some picks over here. We traded our four teams. What are we going to do? It's a rebuild year. But listen, Blazer fans, we are excited. You know, Rip, Rip City gets so excited every time around this year because we always are drafting pretty high. We just can't never seem to draft the right players. For some reason, we think Donovan's our guy. Seven foot two and 280 pounds. I think we I think he's a good pick. I like it. So yeah. Let's keep it uh keep it going over here, you guys. Blazer, shout you out. Much respect. All right. Number eight, the Spurs had another pick. They drafted Rob Dillingham, but he's from Kentucky, but they traded him to the Minnesota Timberwolves. That's actually a great pick. I know Rob's excited. He was excited both ways, whether he stayed with the Spurs or the Timberwolves. Um, so, yeah, Rob's excited about that. The, Minis the Memphis Grizzlies, they drafted number nine, Zach Eddy out of Purdue. This was cold. I actually thought he would have went a little bit higher. You know, he was really the player that I knew in the college, uh, in college last year. So it's crazy to see that he went nine, but great, great land for the Grizzlies. Absolutely. Number 10, the, the Utah Jazz drafted Cody Williams from Colorado. Much respect. Number 11, the Chicago Bulls. They were on the clock. They drafted Matas. Buzz, man, come on, y'all. Why y'all doing this to me? Matas? Man, I don't even know if that's right. They drafted someone from the G League. My apologies. Bulls, what the heck? Number 12, Thunder was on the clock. They drafted Nikola Topic. Nikola Topic. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that from the Thunder. Thunder's actually, you know, Thunder, man, they rolling. So that's going to be a great pick for him. The Sacramento Kings drafted number 13 at, they drafted Devin Carter out of Providence. Much respect. And then, as we said, the Blazers, they traded the 14th pick, but they drafted Bub Carrington out of Pittsburgh, and he went to Washington. The Heat drafted Khalil, Khalil Ware out of Indiana. S uh, 16th pick. 76ers drafted Jared McCain out of Duke. Ooh, here we go, you guys. This word gets spicy. All right. The Lakers, my number 17 pick. The one they said they wanted. Dalton. Oh, neck. I don't even know how to say his last name, bro. I know he's an absolute beast, though. He's a shooter. Right? Got it. College, y'all, I don't know. But what I do know is that LeBron James got on there and said that we he is the player that we definitely wanted. So much respect, okay? He was born in North Dakota, grew up in Colorado. Bet. All right, averaged 21 points, six rebounds as a senior. 
He was only six foot one at the time. Oh, he didn't get no D1 offers, but then he stepped up. You already know what it is. That growth spur hit. And now he's 6'5". But anyway, man, Dalton, he went to the, my Lakers. Number 17. Speaking of my Lakers really quick, I know Bronny James didn't get drafted in this in this first round right here. Or, yeah, in this first round. But listen up. I guarantee you tomorrow he will be drafted. And it is going to be such an epic, iconic moment for LeBron James. It's going to be an epic, iconic moment for the world to witness a son get drafted. Not, not, let's just take out the son getting drafted in the league that the father plays in in his 22nd year. He should be a bum. But your son is getting drafted to the NBA when you're still the number one player in the world. It's literally mind-blowing. The LeBron haters, excuse me, the LeBron haters are going to be so mad tomorrow when the Lakers draft Bronny at number 55. And I'm going to be so excited about my popcorn turning up because it's going to be a celebration. I cannot wait to see it. And it's going to be epic, man. It's going to be epic. If for some reason in the world, if for some reason in the world it does not happen, LeBron's walking. He ain't signing nothing. I'm just, I'm just letting y'all know that. All right. I got some, I got the inside scoop. I got the inside scoop, man. But anyway, it's going to be so epic. Shout you out, Lakers. Who I cannot wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow's the night. First round was, was cool. Excuse me. First round was cool, but tomorrow is the night. Tomorrow's the night. All right, back to the draft. Number 18, the Orlando Magic. They went ahead and drafted Tristan Da Silva out of Colorado. Number 19, the Raptors are on the clock. They drafted Jacoby Walter out of Baylor. The Cleveland Cavaliers drafted number 20, drafted Jalen Tyson out of Cal. The New Orleans Pelicans, they're on the clock. And they drafted Yves Missy. Met. Bruh, come on now. Baylor, my bad, bro. My bad. My bad. Yves, Yves. All right, number 22, the Suns are on the clock, and they drafted Deron Holmes the second out of Dayton. But then they traded him to the Nuggets. I know he's happy as hell because he might get a championship. Ooh-wee. All right, number 23, the Bucks are on the clock, and they drafted A.J. Johnson. Man, my Bucks. I'm so disappointed in how last year went, but Giannis, hopefully you're back 100%, getting that mental right and understanding that you need to get that championship going. Hey, Paul, Paul George, we're talking about getting the trade over there. Y'all trying to do a trio? Like a, a come on now, man. Y'all should be able to do it yourselves. Dame, Giannis, Middleton. Come on now. Y'all just see Drew got his. Man. All right. My bucks were on the clock at 23. Here we go. 24. The Knicks are on the clock and they drafted Kaishan George out of Miami. But he was traded to Washington. I know he's pissed as hell. Who doesn't want to play in the Mecca? Madison Square Garden. Come on now. And he got traded. But the Knicks are also back-to-back -back on the clock at 24 and 25. And they drafted another guy, another brother, Pacom. Oh, man, why are they doing this to me? 25. Pacom, daddy. Damn, horrible. Hey, great. You drafted, brother. You drafted, man. Salute. Knicks, you playing in the garden. All right. 26, the Wizards, they were on the clock. They drafted Dylan Jones out of Weber State. But then he was traded to the Thunder via the Knicks. All right. That was a great little back, back, back. Ooh, wop, wop, wop. Got traded to the Thunder. I know you're happy. I don't want to play in no Washington. They suck. All right. Number 27, we're down to the last four picks in the first round. The Minnesota Timberwolves drafted Terrence Shannon Jr. out of Illinois. Great pick. Great pick for them. 
salute you out, man. I'm uh, real quick. I just want to say shout out to everybody that's getting drafted. It's a it's a great moment. You you're young kids. You've been playing basketball your entire life, and this is the time to shine. And and you got it done. Y'all was looking fly out up on the stage. All that, man. Great, much respect. But here we go. Number twenty eight, the Nuggets. They drafted Ryan Dunn out of Virginia, but he was traded to the Suns. I know he's. I ain't pissed. You got Book KD over there for now. So he he cool. He cool. All right. Number 29, the Jazz drafted Isaiah Collier out of USC. But hey, that was a great pick. I know LeBron uh Bronny James is happy for that. And uh his boy got drafted. He got drafted number 29, and Bronny's not too far away. So it's just epic. Much respect. And uh yeah. All right, last pick of the night. Went to those damn champs, the Boston Celtics, and they drafted Baylor. I don't even want to say, y'all. He went to Creighton. He got drafted to the champs, and who doesn't want to play in in uh, the Garden in Boston's Garden? All right, so man, much respect. Second round comes up tomorrow. You like I said, get your popcorn, get your chips, get your dip. Because it is going down. The Blazers also have two more picks in the second round. I just want to shout that out real quick. At number 34 and 40. So, we will see what happens. Can we steal Bronny James from the Lakers? Ooh, that would be so epic. But as long as he gets drafted tomorrow, I'm going to be ecstatic. Ecstatic. So, much respect. That's Bros Talking Sports, you guys. First round of the draft, part one. Tune in tomorrow. We're going to be turning up for Bronny James. I can't wait to get the Bronny, Bronny James Jr. Oh, that's uh jersey. That's going to be epic. LeBron jersey. Oh, my gosh. I still It still hasn't really hit me yet. And it really hasn't hit the fans yet of what's about to take place tomorrow. World changing. World changing. This is going to be bigger than the debate tomorrow. Crazy, man. Crazy. Bronny James draft night. Let's get it, man. Bros Talking Sports, like, subscribe, and share. We out.